Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall in Northern California, April 8, 2019. I, I want to thank Brother David in Texas. I, I, when I went to Texas, I actually did meet him. Very good, uh, very good man. Loves the Lord. Uh, he just texted me this article right now from Texas to California at 4.40 p.m. Six minutes ago. Thank you, Brother David. Thank you, Jesus. This is huge. It, it, it's just that. It's huge. So we're going to address some things now. I've just been waiting on God. He, I know why he's called me back to YouTube now. And uh, he gave me a word that I'm going to preach on. I haven't, I don't know when yet, but he gave me a word in prayer today, actually in my prayer closet, the closest place that I get to, to Jesus in the, through the Holy Spirit. He spoke. He spoke. And I'm going to share it live somehow. I, I'm not sure when. It won't be long, I assure you. It won't be long. And then suddenly I get this text. And I see like the hand of God all over this stuff. And I'm thankful. So here I am. I'm going to be making some messages here. You know, if the Lord allows it. I want to talk about the 419 dream my wife had. You can see it right here. It was April 29th, 2013 again. Here we go. And look at the time, 3, 3, 7 p.m. That's when it hits the YouTube server, and you just can't make that up. Now, when you come up here, this is when they put the demonic uh, Arch of Baal up. It was on 419. So, three years later. This was 419, and many things have happened on 419. So no, this is not coincidence. This dream was from God to my wife. I want to go to this and uh, just get a screenshot of it on here. I, this won't take very long at all. That was the website I used to have. Okay, so... This, this picture of me here is when I was at the uh, Los Angeles Prophecy Concert, uh, Conference, Prophecy Conference there. This is going way back. My wife dreamed God writing 419 in Hebrew, and then I was announcing our new interactive website. My wife built that. Um, now, for a few years, I looked at this as April 19th. And I just spoke, Brother David, listen to this, everybody, please. I just spoke to my wife last night, and I had asked her as we were approaching uh, the sleeping area for, you know, for sleep. The last thing, I, one of the last things I said was, do you think it's possible when God showed you that 419, that he meant April of 2019, April 2019 like in that month is that possible and she said I don't know I, I said I don't know either I wonder if it's possible has he showed you anything about 419 since then and she said no so it was a one-time thing and so many uh, 419s have came and gone but now we are in 419 April 19th now this is the article that was texted me. Watch this. Okay, I'm back. That took a second. Amazingly, I looked and it was 429. The same date I made that video that I just hit pause to pull up this thumbnail. Everybody see this thumbnail right here? This is the M87 Event Horizon uh, playlist on my YouTube channel. So this is under Playlists. And look at, look at the thumbnail I used. And I used it as a thumbnail in one of the videos, too. 
as an update. Red skies at night. Red horrors. So now, <laughs> come on, y'all. <laughs> I mean, come on. Let's go to this article that was just texted me from Texas. So this posted April 1st. Interesting date they chose to post this, eh? Could it be April Fool's or not? You know, which I don't really even believe in some of this worldly nonsense at all. But I think it's interesting they chose that date in this thumbnail. Now, here's the, here's the breaking news. They're going to release some type of message. Uh -huh. They're going to release some type of message and supposedly a photo of the event in the black hole. Never seen before ever in history by, hu by, by human eyes a black hole event horizon. Supposedly they have pictures. And when, and when did they post it? 419. And what thumbnail did they use? This one. And now let's look at God. Because I believe in miracles. I believe in a miracle working God. Let's look at the announcement. It's April 10th. It's 419. It's April of 2019. Astronomers working across a worldwide network of cosmic observatories. I don't have to explain that to you guys. I have a whole list on it, guys and gals, on what they did with these telescopes networking them worldwide. Uh, they're set to make groundbreaking announcement on April 10th. Now, uh, uh, the Holy Spirit just prompted into my spirit. Do you remember when they were shutting down those observatories? Why? Sending out Black Hawks and FBI and local police to these observatories. Why? Well, this announcement. Considering that the Event Horizon Telescope, it's otherwise known as EHT, is on a mission to capture the very first image of a black hole, this could be one of the biggest science discoveries of the year. Humans, for the first time, May, I wonder why they said May. Well, because they're not sure. They haven't seen it. This uh, this is CNET. You know, very credible CNET. They're, they haven't seen it, so they have to speculate. May be able to see the black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. And here's the M87 event named after Messier, I believe you pronounce his name. And then it talks about Invisible space vampires. Now, oh, come on, the terminology of this. But what I had uncovered is that at the very event horizon of a black hole, and this came from a lot of study on stuff I know nothing of after a lot of prayer, at, at, at the very event horizon, that is the moment a black hole happens. It's impossible to even capture with human timing and human clocks, atomic clocks, whatever. It happens so fast you can't use a clock. That is the event horizon and what's happening is a black hole. You know what happens at the event horizon? A white hole. A white hole. And one of these videos I had made was about Jonah the Harvest Master and NASA and CERN to play a very deceptive role for the Antichrist. Uh, how evil men will attempt to play God to usher in uh, the Antichrist. It was the one I remember. It, it, it was about uh, Jesus coming in the clouds. Remember this? Uh, let's go to a couple of these. You remember this, that the ISSS had supposedly <laughs> captured this blue Kachina-like thing? Good morning, this, this is, is Minister Paul, Paul out here. here. See the blue? Well, it, it, what's interesting is that red, I would never forget the red cloud-type blob that showed up in the sky in my backyard at 4-something in the morning. Ever, ever, ever will forget that. I've always thought it pointed to the red horse of Revelation 6. In the so spiritual before so this is what the ISS had caught. 
And I said, is this the event they're trying to hide? Well, we're going to find out, apparently. And here's the thing. Can we believe what they say? Whatever they say, test the spirits on. But the timing of this and the, the this coming out in April 19, and as we approach 419, which God hasn't given me anything, just as an update for that specific date, should be widely observed on what they stay what they say so the official announcement will begin at 6 a.m pacific standard time that's 9 a.m east coast on april 10th i wonder why that day that's two days from now wait isn't that the day that the pm uh, netanyahu israel elections were just extended to april 9th and 10th and what about this speech from Obama I'm studying? I'm one hour into it. More interesting are the questions and answers than the speech itself. But I am amazed. Amazed, amazed, amazed. And we'll put a link to it. Listen, if God before you, who can be against you? We are at the door. No nonsense, no games, just evidence. Evidence of prophecy. Signs in the sky and signs in the sun and the moon and the stars. And then possibly fake signs. We don't know what they saw. They've been hiding it. Well, now they're going to release it.